and welcome to this episode of This is Elmer, Our Hometown. And today we're in the beautiful Pinecroft Pottery and Tea Room in Elmer. And I'm here with Beth Foster. Thank you so much for joining us today, Beth. Thank you for having me. And Beth is going to talk about MSA. And not only is she going to talk about MSA, and I'm sure that you're curious about what that is, but also how this Elmer gal and a team got Niagara Falls lit up purple. And I even saw that the CN Tower was lit up purple. And so I hope I've piqued everyone's curiosity. But before we jump into that, I just want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, a lot has gone on in our hometown this past few weeks. And uh, we want to acknowledge and, and pay tribute and send our condolences to the uh, co-workers and the family at Elgin Feeds at the loss of um, someone very close uh, who, who was an employee at Elgin Feeds. Um, we also have had a tragic fire in our community and, and all of the families, uh, the folks who have lost everything, their homes, their possessions. Um, we want to send out our love and our care and our hugs um, and just seeing how our hometown is rallying around folks and, and uh, making donations and, you know, it certainly is so heartwarming. And also our firefighters who uh, risk their lives to, um, to, to take care of us and their families who were at home waiting up all night for, for them to come home through the door safe and sound. Um, you know, we certainly thank you. And one of the things that I love about this town is how, how folks rally around each other and families when um, something goes wrong or falls off the rails. And it's incredible how this town has lit up Facebook has lit up, the community has lit up, you know, in terms of um, supporting all of these families and, and this, you know, most recent loss with the fire. And today we're here to rally around another Elmer hometown family, and that's the Foster family. And uh, Beth is here today. We're going to talk about uh, Steve Foster. And many of you in the community know Steve. Um, Steve is that all around um connect with everyone um kind of person if if i were to you know to describe him um, um got along well with everyone athletic um sports minded fun you know community oriented um and we lost him uh to this uh this terrible disease and so beth um can you share with us what is msa and how did you get Niagara Falls lit up? And, and, and all that advocacy work and March is MSA Awareness Month. And, and, you know, to talk to us about what that's all about. So Beth, I'm gonna turn it over to you. <laughs> all right. Um, so MSA uh, stands for Multiple Systems Atrophy. Um, it's a rare neurological uh, brain disease um, that affects different parts of the brain. Uh, it affects uh, a lot of the autonomic functions that your your body would do automatically, whether it's uh, temperature control, um, speech, movement, um, and it, it takes over uh, the signals from your brain to the rest of your body. You know what you want to do, but you just can't uh, physically do it. Um, so uh, that's what MSA is. Uh, it's debilitating. It's um, it's a little bit of ALS, a little bit of Parkinson's. Um, with a lot of speed. Um, uh, once diagnosis happens, which is challenging to get, uh, life expectancy is between five and 10 years. Um, and unfortunately, um, you know, we, we struggled through that, uh, but we did have a lot of community support, uh, family and friends support um, throughout the way. So that uh, helped us. Uh, but yeah, you, you summed it up, Steve. Uh, I just uh, want to hug you right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, uh, to know him, we, you would know that he'd have a smile on his face. <clears throat> he was always positive. Um, he had a good network of uh, friends, uh, a lot of close buddies. Um, he loved uh, music, um, anything football. Um, loved his boys watching football, hockey, wrestling, whatever activities um, they were in. Uh, he was a family man through and through. Um, so this was it was hard on our family, uh, but we definitely had a lot of support. Um, yeah, and I see you're all you're 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 lit up in purple today. Even show your nails. Even your nails. 
the your, it, the band yeah. defeat MSA and and so tell me again it's multiple systems atrophy yeah right okay yep. okay and uh, our the month of March uh, our goal is to create MSA awareness um, we have uh, social media posts uh, both on Facebook and Instagram um, and um, what we do is um, we share uh, one post a day uh, through our defeat MSA Canada group. And uh, we ask that uh, community and um, everyone uh, share the posts. That helps us create awareness. Uh, our goal is once we, we create awareness, awareness comes funding, funding comes research, um, treatment, and hopefully a cure. Um, so that's uh, and what you, our month of March is. You, you mentioned that um, the posts, and so recently um, you put together a video, and so there's all kinds of community folks in this video and it's for MSA awareness and it's posted on the MSA. It's a, it's a Canada wide site. And so this video is rippling across the country, um, you know, in terms of raising, uh, raising awareness. And it was just, it was so amazing to see, you know, with your family, your friends, you know, how many people yeah. rallied around and, you know, got involved in, in that video. That's just, uh, uh, it's probably gonna go viral pretty soon. <laughs> so you got a great job on that. Thank you. And okay, so Beth, MSA Canada. I understand that you and your family and Steve specifically had a big part in bringing um, MSA advocacy, um, this particular group, to Canada. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so when um, we learned more about MSA, um, it was hard to get some information on it. We discovered a group uh, in the states. Um, and what we did is we tried to bring that uh, similar organization to Canada. So with the help uh, of the US, uh, we brought it here, formed Defeat MSA Canada, and uh, achieved our charitable uh, status in early 2019. Uh, but the group is here working hard, trying to establish itself, uh, in which we're still trying to grow uh, to make it larger, with, to get more impact for awareness and funding. That's excellent. That is, that is most excellent and, uh, um, you know, quite like quite an accomplishment. So, so well done to, because you have to have that type of advocacy and support behind um, the organization in order to make meaningful and impactful change. So mm -hmm. yeah, well done. Let's talk about how you got Niagara Falls lit up and the CN Tower lit up and like, tell us about that. <laughs> Definitely. It was exciting. Um, our, uh, our organization, Defeat MSA Canada, uh, has some excellent board members. Um, we're always looking for more board members if anyone wants to volunteer um, or ideas. Um, but what, uh, what was done is last year, for the first time, uh, CN Tower was uh, lit up purple to support uh, multiple systems atrophy. Um, we went down to watch it get lit up. It was very moving. Um, this year, it also got lit up again, purple. and. Uh, uh, what's new for this year for March is lighting up Niagara Falls purple um, and uh, that's going to happen March 31st uh, I believe at 10 p.m. Um, but we are having uh, an activity move for MSA uh, an exercise uh, session uh, approximately 7 p.m. Uh, down by the falls uh, to create awareness and talk to people near us uh, and, and explain to people what MSA is and moving for MSA. And if anyone wants to make a, a video, move for MSA, they can send it in with their hashtag and, and we'll post it on our page. Uh, any, every little difference, uh, every little thing makes a difference. Um, absolutely, absolutely. It. That's amazing, that's amazing. And then so people can light up their house. Yep, we have a campaign uh, hashtag um, light up purple for MSA. So uh, in the community, you can light up uh, your house purple, business is purple. Um, we were able to get uh, our workplace lit up purple, um, which is exciting. Uh, and it, it feels good to see the purple out there. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's a pretty big corporation. So that's a big building that's lit up. So <laughs> well done. That's, yes. that's amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So and thank you for having me. Oh, um, Thank sure. you. This has been this has been incredible. I and I, and I just go, it just loops back to you know thinking about our hometown, thinking about um, you know how we rally together that support for each other um, in this town. And so if there's anything that spoke to you today, that spoke to your heart, 
Um, we're going to post some links on the show page, um, some links for volunteering, links for more information, links if you wanted to donate, um, you know, whatever speaks to your heart. And, um, you know, I'm grateful that the foster family trusted me with, uh, with your story about Steve. And, uh, you know, we'll close out by uh, March is MSA Awareness Month. And uh, this is Elmer, our hometown. Signing off from the Pinecroft Pottery and Tea Room. Have a great day, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.